Dear Mr McBride, I'm writing this letter just before I go for my training run. It's pretty cold these mornings, but that's the price you pay to avoid all the people they have down here. Since moving here, I've come to realise there are very few places where you can find silence. Jackson wants to see you. Jockstrap. My name's John. You think you can remember that? Oh, two pints of lager and a packet of crisps, John. Oi, where's your sparring? There was a soldier, a Scottish soldier. So funny, aren't you? Of course I am. You fancy him, don't you? Look, pal. John Stewart. Yes, sir. I've been hearing one or two things about you, John. What's that, sir? That you're a bit of a dark horse. If I said Randori, Uchikomi, or Niwaza, I bet you know what I was talking about, wouldn't you? Yes, sir. Well, why didn't you say you were interested in judo? Didn't you know we had a school club? Yes, sir. Well, come along. We need more good people if we're going to win anything this year. Don't run, you lot. The sports field is the place for that. Well, well, I'll think, I'll think about it, sir. You don't have to come if you don't want to. It's not Russia. I just thought you might like to represent your school, you know? Yes, sir. How long have you been with us now, John? Two months. Made a lot of friends? One or two. The club's a good place to make friends. It gives you a sense of belonging to something. But it's up to you. Yes, sir. OK, off you go. Sir, how did you know about my judo? Uh, Gary Robinson. Said he called at your house. Saw your medals. Well, John. Sir? What grade are you? I'm a junior black. Just one more thing. Why did you keep it a secret? I didn't know what to say when he asked me that. I just had the feeling that if I joined the school club, it would be for the same old reasons. Win medals beat the other team, throw the guy, get aggressive, John, push, John, give him some stick, John. Push, John, push! Put some back into it, son. It's no different to this London club I've joined. You can lift it. Push! It's a good club, mind you, but... It... Good job. More attacks. What's this, rugby? Don't complain. Get up. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you'll get when we fight in the championships on the 18th. Thirty seconds. Okay, Suramadi. Well done. See? You can be a tough guy when you want to be. Yeah, I can. You know, Mr McBride, there's a lot of pressure down here. Coming from outside, you notice it. I think if the people who've always lived here could stop for a minute and step back, they'd notice it as well. Everyone's always on the go, racing, competing. It's like a disease, and I feel it's getting me too. Anyway, to the point of this letter. A little while ago, I went to another judo club and watched a session. It was a big sports hall near where my school is. Say, sir. Kyosuke, Sensini, right?
As I was watching the session, I remembered all the things you used to try to teach us about the old ways of judo. I don't know whether it was the blue paint on the walls of the dojo or the people or what it was, but there was a feeling of calm in the place. It was like they were preparing for something more than just a training session. They all sat for about five minutes, and even though I wasn't meditating with them, I felt as though all the rubbish of fighting for the 19 bus and pushing and shoving my way through the day was actually, well, I don't know, drifting away, I suppose. Yeah, mate. I really wanted to join in. It was nothing like the shouting and bawling that goes on at my club. Their whole attitude to what they were doing was totally different. Matthew, you're too far up. Harai Goshi, you should know this. You need the contact. Harmonizing with your partner's movements, take control and then complete the circle. Matip, remember, anyone can throw somebody to the floor. The perfect throw is a bit harder. I know you all think I'm best at Kuchiwatsa. Mouth technique, I talk too much. Sorry, Matip. All right, Surakomagoshi, four times in and out, then throw. Hajime. Less aggression, Linda. This is Uchikomi. Relax movement. You should always work on the principle of maximum efficiency through minimum effort. Seiri Oku Zenyo. It was like watching a ballet or something. Not that I've ever seen a ballet, but you know what I mean. All they were interested in was getting the throws clean and perfect. There was no pressure on them to throw someone. They were into method, not result. Mokuso. I want you to think about one thing now. Is strength the only way of resisting power? Yame? Yoski? Sensini, right? Thank you very much, everybody. See you next week. Very good session. It was a great place to be in. By the time I left, I felt like I had a terrific meal. Hello, Johnny. What are you doing here? Hiya. How's it going? Oh, just coming for a game of squash. What are you up to? I've just been watching a judo session. What, in there? Yeah. Oh, leave it out. They're a right load of ponces. What makes you say that? Well, they're all mouth. All bunny and no guts. When it comes to competition, no bottle. Now, nah, don't get involved with them. I thought they'd got quite a good technique, to tell you the truth. Oh, yeah, in there they have. When it comes to competition, they're a bunch of fairies. Come and have a coffee. Well, I hope you're not thinking of joining that lot, are you? No. I just like the feeling in their dojo. Well, they haven't won any major competitions, ever. That's not everything, is it? Well, I'd rather be a winner than a loser, any day. Do you think... 
moving to a different place makes you look at things in a different way, Phil. How do you mean? Well, when you get away from the people and the places you've always known, you know, the places you've been brought up in. I don't know, mate. I've always lived in Clapham. You know, when I was ten, I joined a local judo club in Scotland. All my mates did the same. It was something to do. We all lived in the same estate and went to the same school. It was my whole world, you know? So I didn't stop to think about anything different from what the whole gang did. Do you know what I mean? Keep going and I might in a minute. My life was routine. I did everything by habit. When I was 13, I got a new judo teacher, a Mr McBride. He's a fifth dan. He trained at Japan and all that. He started telling us about the old ways of judo. You know, before it became a popular sport. He used to tell us how it could help you in your everyday life. Yeah, they all say that. Keeps it a bit mysterious, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, to tell you the truth, when he started talking about all that, I just used to go to sleep. All I wanted to do was to win some medals and get my picture in the paper. But since I've been here in London, I've sort of stepped away from everything I've ever known. And now I begin to wonder if the things I did by habit and because my mates did them, the things I really wanted to do. Like what? Like training for competitions and being desperate to win. Yeah, but that's not all, is it? I mean, judo does help you in your everyday life. How's it helped you, Phil? Well, say somebody starts no, something. No, no, I don't just mean self-defence. Hang on, be fair. Say somebody has a go at me. I'm more likely to walk away from trouble. So can I cover? So is anyone who's got sense. Look, you're not getting my point. Judo gives me the confidence to walk away. I don't have to prove myself to some Wally in the pictures or someone who thinks he's Jack the Lad. And I enjoy doing judo with the rest of the lads. I mean, all this here full of Eastern promise is all right if you're from Hong Kong. It don't go down so well if you're from Clapham, know what I mean? It's a sport, that's all. Mr Hall. Hello. Can I have a word with you? Yeah. You know when you stopped becoming involved in competitive judo? Did you miss winning? That's a big question at this time of day. Did I miss winning? When I started judo, I was trained by that man, Mr. Oshima, the one in the middle. His idea of a good contest was to see two cooperative partners demonstrating an art. I always remember him saying that. Sometimes he would praise the loser for falling well after an awkward throw and leave the winner standing there wondering why he wasn't getting a pat on the back. He was an artist. I got really angry with him one afternoon. I'd taken a line-up for a grading. I'd thrown eight people, one after another. By the time I reached the last one, I was shattered. I was about your age at the time, and they were all black belts in their 20s and early 30s. I finished the line-up, bowed to Mr. Oshima, and then went back to my place. He never said a word. I had enough sense not to say anything there and then, but after the session, I went nuts. I was practically yelling at him. He let me go on and on, never said a word, till I'd finished. And then he said, if you compete only to gain praise, you will only know yourself through the attitude others have towards you. You will be a puppet to acclaim. And he walked off and left me standing there. I suppose it was then I began to wonder exactly what I was doing judo for. Mr. Oshima used to talk about the immediate aim and the ultimate aim. Most people never get beyond the immediate aim. All they want is to achieve things now, to get the rewards now. The ultimate aim is self-knowledge. And you hope happiness. You have to ask yourself whether the things you get now will be the things that will make you really happy. Not an easy question. <laughs> Nobody said it would be easy. As the world is today, everybody listens to the winner. Not because they necessarily want to, but because life is looked upon as a competition. 
If somebody isn't good looking or being seen to do well or rich or good with his fists, succeeding in some way, society doesn't know what to do with it. Competition's good, but it's only part of the process, it's not the whole point. in such a hurry he's ended up in the wrong lane. A bit like life, really. There's a saying. When walking, just walk. When sitting, just sit. Above all, don't wobble. One thing at a time, eh, John? The thing is, Mr. McBride, it's okay when you hear one point of view and live where that is the only point of view. But when you have to get along with people who don't see things your way and with people who really get on your wick, it becomes a real problem. I hate walking this bit. Isn't there another way you can go? Yeah, but it takes ages. Listen to that a lot of shouting. You never know if someone's getting murdered or laughing. My mum wants to get a transfer, but the council say they haven't got anything. I wish we could move. I get really scared walking home sometimes. Is that why you joined Mr Jackson's judo group? Yeah. I don't want to get attacked and raped. Mind you, it takes so long to be any good at judo, I'm likely to get attacked while I'm still learning. I should let you carry a gun till you're a black belt. Oh, no. Don't look at them. Maybe they won't do anything. See you tomorrow, then. Bye. Could do him, Tell. Easy. saying I think I've got the next Prime Minister in my class, but equally I'm convinced that I haven't got a bunch of skivers who want to sponge off the welfare state for the rest of their days. Hard work and graft and more hard work. If you're determined to fail, you'll fail. But if you're determined to win, you'll win. It's as simple as that. All right, off you go. John! Yes, sir. You are beginning to intrigue me, young man. The headmaster spoke to me this morning. Seems he's had a letter from the Scottish Judo Selection Committee asking if you can have time off to train with them with a view to representing your country in Germany. Fight for Scotland? That's right. They wanted to make sure we'd allow your time off before approaching you. God, I can't believe it. Every lad's dream, isn't it? To represent his country. Well, we won't stand in your way. Your school work's good. Now we're over the language barrier. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, just a minute. The headmaster asked me a question about you, John, and I'm afraid I couldn't answer him. He wanted to know why someone with your skills isn't representing his school in judo. I don't know, sir. You must know. What is it? Aren't we of a high enough standard? It's not that. Then what is it? I'm not sure. Well, I've been thinking about moving over to a different form of judo. Less competitive. I've... Well, maybe it sounds stupid, but I've been wondering what judo was like. 
when it was practiced in the old days in Japan, before it became a sport with just one winner and a loser. I suppose I wanted, want to perfect the style that isn't just for winning competitions, but it's worth doing for its own sake. Do you follow? I understand. I think you can do that if you live on top of a mountain in Tibet. But living in a community means you have to help that community. It means you have to pull your weight, doesn't it? Not, I'm not going to twist your arm up your back and say you, John Stewart, would join the school judo club. Either you come because you want to or you don't come at all. But think about this. When you're off representing your country and perhaps winning medals, think about the people here who might be wishing you'd win a few for them. You see, the, the whole school is a team, or should be. The more some people do well, the more it encourages others to do well. It raises morale. Once you've shown you've got a skill, it's not a private thing anymore. It belongs to everyone. Look, John, there are a lot of kids at this school who can't do anything but cheer on the touchline. It's not much, but they keep turning up and they support. And every time their team wins, it gives them something they can't get for themselves. A little bit of glory. The hardest thing for people today is to keep their spirits up and taste a bit of success. You could help them do that if you wanted to. John! John! Hello! Hello, son! Congratulations! Your mother's just told me. Where's the letter, eh? You have been selected to train with the Scottish team for the forthcoming European Championships in West Germany. Oh, my God. Amazing. Oh, you are the boy, son. You are the boy. Thanks, Dad. The Scottish team, eh? Didn't Mr McBride always say that you're something special, didn't he? You get a medal, no bother. And I'll tell you something. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut about it. I, I think I'll go and shout it to the whole street right now. You stay where you are, Dad. Why? But for something to shout about now. Oh, we'll let these Londoners know that we are somebody, eh? They'll all be talking about you before the end of the week if I've got anything to say about it. They'll say, see yon young lad yonder? He's the judo champ. Represents Scotland, he does. And I'll say, aye, and he's my son. Oh, your mother's next door having a good weep about it right now. Oh, John, look. I know it was a big wrench for you moving down here. And I know that you've had to make a lot of adjustments to your life. But you've kept the head. Now you're going to represent your country. Oh, I think it means more to me living down here than it would do if we were still living in Scotland. We'll show them what we're made of, eh? We may be living in England, but we're still fighting for Scotland. Right, son? Right, Dad. Oh, I'm proud of you, son. I'd have coped better with this situation if I'd been trained as a juggler. All I wanted to do was to leave one club and work quietly in my own way at another. Now I'm supposed to win the championships for my club Make a name from a school and revenge Culloden from my dad. The trouble is, part of me wants to do all those things. It seems that there's always one more thing to achieve before you can get to what you really want to do. Hello, what are you doing here? I'm coming to the jewel club. Not because of what I said the other day. No. Have you ever done it before? Yes, in Scotland. What didn't you say? Well, it sounds a bit of a challenge if you say you're a judoka. Well, what's that? Someone who studies the art of judo. Hello. Look, who's here? Is this your first time here, John Fripp? Yes, and my name's John. Well, Mickey Nacky New. Aye, aye, the children have arrived. <sighs> Get one out of the way. There we are, inside. Glad you decided to come, John. <laughs> yeah. I don't believe it. I hope you don't get hurt, Jockstrap. You're going to need one in now. <laughs> oh, Oi, I said I hope you don't My get hurt. My name's him. John. You think you'd manage to remember that? Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> Come in, John. Come in. Ho, 
OK, let's just warm up. Uh, run around the mat, touching each corner with your left hand. Go! Have you borrowed that belt? No, it's me. Now, now take the move all right the way through into the throw. All right, go. Good. No, no, look. Take a, a lower grip. Yeah. Now put your elbow right under here, Miss Allenpit. No, look, watch. Go to relax. Put a big flow. See? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you, you put your leg too far. Yeah, that's good. But it'd be better if you can get your legs closer together, right? Lock them together. All right, right, listen, listen. Now change partners. And in, quickly, and in a gentle, free practice, and I mean gentle, right? Try out some of the throws we've worked on tonight. Ready? Begin. My name is John. I'd have done this yesterday, or the day before that, or even the day before that. I could have made you look very silly, but what's the point? You have no idea who did it? I have an idea, but I can't prove it. It could be a guy who's a sore loser. I'd break his arm, so I would. Yeah, and it might be the wrong arm. He may not have done it. But if he did, it means that by being good at judo, I've made an enemy. Well, like they say, you can't please all of the people all of the time. I think you're right there, Dad. You can't. They've given me a right sore head, though. I remember something Mr McBride used to say. He called it the law of circuit. He said the intolerant would not be tolerated and the destroyer would suffer destruction and the fighters would be fought. Hey, As you sow, so shall you reap. I don't think I'll join in the law of circuit or I might find myself in a war. Are, are you all right? What I mean is, I beat him on the judo mat. He beats me over the head with a bottle. I beat him over the head with an iron bar and all of a sudden, I'm not practicing judo anymore. I'm in a war. Oh, I see. Yeah. I'm all right. I think I'll write a letter to Mr McBride. Look, why don't you have a wee rest now and then you can write him tomorrow? Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll get up early and write before I go on my run. And that's it. Good night, son. Good night, Dad. So there we are, Mr McBride. I've been running along with the crowd for a while, but I think I'm about ready to stop. The problem is, knowing which is the best day to start changing the whole direction of your life.